everybody. Welcome to another episode of Playtime Masters. I'm John, and I'm here with Rob, once again, from Alternative Minds. Always. Always. So, this could be, the way they keep making announcements, this could be a weekly thing. <laughs> it might as well be, so. I love me some Rob. Um, so, Castle Dre, uh, Castle Dre Skull. That would be a great variant. That would be a good variant. I... My mind is mush at this point. So, Castle Grayskull dropped, um, and Mattel uh, launched that for us. Um, it was available on Walmart again. Of course. Um, Always. I guess it's <laughs> that thing where it'll probably be a wide release, but until Walmart, you know, until they have like the wide release licensing. Walmart still has exclusivity, so I don't know how all that works. I did order mine at seventy four ninety five or ninety nine. I did not. I sat on it for a couple minutes, and I thought it was seventy nine seventy one or some weird ass number. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense, but you know. Yeah. I checked it out. And it was there. I was okay. Yeah, okay, maybe I'll order it. But then I had dropped 50 bucks on a clear Skeletor. Yeah. <clears throat> the Mattel, like, in creation thing. I mean, I, it's cool. Uh, they're working with artists, but... Yeah. I passed on that one. You did? Yeah. Okay. So next year when I get it, and you can't get it, and you want it, you give me a Castle Grayskull as trade, and I'll give you my Skeletor clear. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> is, is that, so Castle Grayskull, at least as I, as of right now, which is Sunday, the 11th of October, it's, it's pre-orders, that's done. It's sold out. So I'm sure we'll be able to have other uh, chances at it because Walmart just does this to people just to fuck with them. But um, is the clear Skeletor sold out already? I haven't checked. I ordered it. I was like, do I get it? Do I don't get it? And I ordered it. I didn't look back. I'm curious because they only allow one or two per customer. Yeah. I didn't even know it. about it until like. Well, they had this countdown clock on Mattel creation site. And we're like, okay, well, they wouldn't launch that now after all this announcement. So they not have something Masters related. Really, related. And I knew they were because they did say Masters, Barbie, Hot Wheels, you know. Uh, I think that's all they own anyway, really. I don't know what Mattel even owns anymore. I'm assuming they only own Hot Wheels, Barbie, and Masters. <laughs> so yeah. it doesn't feel like they have any other licenses anymore. And I was like, all right, cool. I didn't know what to expect. And they were talking about this would be, a, you know, the way for creators and artists. So I'm like, oh, they're trying to do like their own, like, like five points festival kind of their own like third party hey we see you out there making your customs i thought this could be a place where like these guys that we've known for years who do all these cool master universe themed stuff a place for them to do something official i thought yeah and they had like some basquiat kind of artist showing like artwork and i'm like oh okay and here's a clear translucent skeletor and i'm like oh we do like our translucent toys though dang it and i'm like but that was like, I just don't, I, I like the Hot Wheels. If I was in the Hot Wheels, they have the dissected car. Yeah. And it's like translucent, so it's in a case. That's cool because yeah, you could take a $2 car and break it apart, but it's cool how they display it. It's a cool little thing. But it's just like, I just don't get the overall what they're trying to do with that site. Yeah. But when I saw the skeleton, I'm thinking to myself, if I don't pick up this for 50 bucks, I know next year when it gets released, there's going to be people crying that they didn't get a chance because they didn't bother. Right. And then I could sell it for like $100, $200, and then you get my Castle Grayskull then. So that's what I'm hoping for, unless, like you said, it's not sold out. And it really should be limited, but they don't show you how limited, or they don't tell you how limited. Yeah, Mattel is notorious for that. They never, like, say, oh, this is how much we produced, and... Like, I mean, then I get you want to make it exclusivity, but when you say one or two per customer, well, what's the what's what's the justification for the price? Because right. there's nothing in that figure that's new sculpt. Like when people complain about PowerCon exclusives, new sculpts are involved. 
new pieces that you didn't get in your standard releases and special super duper packaging make it that set for that price. Here you're getting the same figure that's on every shelf, but clear. Yeah. Literally nothing is being done differently. And here's the thing: does it come like in the standard packaging? Is it special packaging? Is it doesn't like, tell you nothing? Sort of display globe. I don't know. I would. I hope it comes in something. Yeah. Make it special for fifty bucks. Make it something because yeah. that's you know. But to me, it was like, all right, let me get it anyway because it's cool. Even it's like just one of those pieces that, you know, maybe later, later on, people like will wish they had it and I have it, whatever. Because I always miss out on those. I've always missed out on anything that like, oh, later on is going to be worth something. I'm like, yeah, but right now. Yeah, but right now, like, it's not. <laughs> so then I'm like, so my brain was like, do I take a chance? I was like, well, it's a translucent skeleton. And that's, that's still cool. Yeah, I mean, Super Seven did really good selling their translucent Man at Arms, their gold-plated He-Man, and so there's a, a way for it to be useful in your collection. So I, I feel that you know it's not a, it won't hurt to get it. So I picked it up, and then at the same time, Grayskull was announced. I'm like, and you know, we talked about this about the price. And I originally said, like, I thought 50, and you said, oh, it's probably close to 75, 80. You were right, because, you know, that includes the one figure and the accessories and all that, and the packaging is gorgeous. But um, I'm confused about one thing, because we were going to talk about Grayskull. The two different color schemes that we saw. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get into that, because one, Let's get to right away. one had a painted door, and one did not. Um, and I'm sure that's probably what you're talking about, yeah? No, I'm talking about the overall. The one that was on display with the figures yeah. had paint deco like crazy. There was, uh, if you saw the one that had like the, like it looked like the fold out sheet when you get mm -hmm. for collecting the toys. Well, here, let's get that, into it. I'm going to share yeah. my screen. Ooh, we're doing fancy. We're doing we're picture in fiction fancy. now. Ooh, I'm going to have it. So this is the box art, um, mm -hmm. which is gorgeous. Uh, this I know is done by um, Axel and Nate. And I think Nate said there was one more person who worked on it. I didn't recognize that. I, I think so. Her. I mean, this is all – I only uh, – forgive me, the artist that worked on this. I just – I know Axel and Nate personally. So Yeah, I'm so that we, we, we give them special props. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, very reminiscent of the Rudy Obrero art. Um all right, so I I have some images I can pull up and make bigger. Um, this is not one of them. But if you look right here, there are the skeleton. I sent you uh, – I think I sent you closer up to these as well. You, I think so. I'm going to go through and, and kind of figure this out. But <laughs> this – yeah, uh, I'm kind of doing this on the fly. These guys right here are like these – Jason and the Argonauts skeletons yeah. coming up out of the ground. I would love it if they made these into figures. I'm really curious if they're going to, I mean, if they always said like, while well, PowerCon, they said anything that's on the box isn't yeah. there for no reason. Yep. So and now people are asking all those new characters and I don't feel that they're not new or not old. I feel that they're like um reinterpretation of yeah. stuff that we've seen in the because Skeletor has always had these army builder type things in in various media. The whether skull, the Skelcon characters, yeah, and yeah, and so, these guys right here are pretty cool. But you see, Evil Lynn's doing it, and that's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, but I mean, it makes total sense for um, Skeletor to have some of these army builder figures, and you sell more figures that way. I mean, yes, duh. <laughs> Uh, the other thing I find interesting is Stratos is holding the uh, Staff of Avion there, um, yeah. which makes me think he's going to come with the figure, which would be great. Yeah, and I'd be happy to have him have uh, two working hands instead of... Yeah, yeah. You know. um, and of course, it comes with the uh, Temple of Darkness, or the white version of the Sorceress, whichever one you want to call it. Um Really awesome. So let's uh, let's look at kind of the. This, this is, is the image we're I'm talking about, right? 
Yeah. This okay. is like pisses me off from the other toy art. So this is like, you know, the sheets we used to get folded up in the boxes when we used to get toys, and you can see the toys coming up ahead. Look at that gray skull here, okay? Yeah. Look at the paint deco. Now, on this one, I don't know if you can zoom in at all with this image, but if you look, the, the drawbridge definitely is looks green. Yeah. But that's fine, whatever. The original drawbridge was green. Yeah. Uh, but you see this deco on the shingles on the side. You have, yeah. like, here. you have... You have this black wash across the whole castle to bring out the the definition of the stones and yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous looking and I was like, man this if this is it, this is beautiful and then like you know then they have another image, and you're like, what well, happened <laughs> well, this we the inside that image yeah, there you, this this then now I'm completely confused again now we have a brown door. No paint and deco. There are other images of. Let's see if I can find. So this image, you've got all of this is painted silver, yeah. and then you go yeah. back over to this other one. Oops. We're and no and, paint yeah, and nothing. At all. So I'm wondering which one we're gonna get. Yeah, that's with, with the way uh, this line has been going. Uh, it could be both. Like, I feel like we've seen Estila having gold pieces painted, and then sometimes they just forget to paint it. Wow. Uh, <laughs> you see a lot of that. So my curiosity, I feel that what we're seeing here, what you're showing right now, is what we're really going to get. Yeah. I do not think we're going to get the other ones because this would be the late, less amount of uh, paint applications Oh, we just put the shingles brown and you know the door brown. That's a lot already for them. And uh, I I just don't know. I'm confused. Yeah. Well, the door, the jawbridge. If it's anything like the original, it was in two pieces. So it looks like the inside is going to be green and the outside will be brown. Mm -hmm. But I guess we'll see. Hmm. So let's um, let's go back to this for a minute. Um, this looks like those old catalogs from Sears or something. I love yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the uh, Land Shark looks fantastic. They all look great. I mean, you know. So yeah, but unfortunately, these look like paint masters. It doesn't look like yeah. final product, and that's why. I mean, I'm... that's probably why Castle Grayskull looks hand painted and pretty like that. Yeah, that's my that's my big fear. Like you know, once again, for the people who don't know how to do like black wash or paint toys yourself, it's it's gonna suck. If yeah. you want things to be legit, you're not gonna try to customize it. Which I get why people don't want to customize because you don't want to damage a figure that you don't know. But to me, it's like I would like it to look like this. Yeah. This is what I really think it will look nice. Because uh, so, this way, the plastic looks better too. It's I don't know. No, I totally agree with you. I mean, it brings out, um, it brings out the stone. It brings out all yeah, the, the sculpt detail, looks amazing like this. Yeah, you know. So, so I want to go inside. Um, Finally, the image see, from Germany, <laughs> we could see well, in better detail. Yeah, we're gonna. Um, let me figure out. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, 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 we're gonna go to this. Um... There you go. Oh my God, this is pissing me off. There we go. Okay, so this I can zoom in on a little bit. Um, okay, so we've got the inside. Clearly, like the weapons rack is smaller than the original. It comes with less weapons than the original, but. Um, I want to go here first. So the elevator looks fantastic. If you look behind it, there is like this paint splatter flecking or whatever you call it. Um, and it almost gives it this sort of like magical iridescence glittery effect on the inside. I didn't, I didn't like it at first, but it's grown on me. What do you think? That's if we're going to get that in the final. 
you know? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's my big fear is that, is that the final piece? Um, if it is, I like it. I have no problem looking like, you know, Eternia like needs to look auto world. It looks good, crazy, good glitter. But like, you know, it just adds a little detail to these kind of hollow areas. So yeah, it gives us a little, it gives a little something. Yeah. So right here on the elevator, we've got a, um, a foot peg. About time. Right. All right. Well, the original ones didn't have feet pegs, but it would have been great yeah. if we had. Because you always have to use, use, remember you used to use the old elevator and the characters would just fall before you could pull them up. That's right. I may be making shit up here, but right behind the ladder, of course, it's a little pixelated. But right there looks like another foot peg to me. That's a little hard to see, but I, I, I could see it. Like, I mean. So that to me makes me believe that either included or coming in a separate piece there's going to be the uh the robot the robot space dude that would be cool i mean if it doesn't happen fine but that looks cool and i think to bring up your point as you zoomed in that area you clearly can see the trap door oh yeah which we, we, we were speculating there. last time we talked we speculated about it but you clearly see it there yeah, and you can see where the throne turns, and I mean, it works clearly just like the original did. Yeah. So, I love that. Um, you've got the uh, banner here, and it looks like we've got another banner on the other side now. Um, yep. There's the sorceress a little bit more up close. The wings are translucent, which I think is kind of a cool touch. Well, especially since the, the white version having the translucent, that gives it a little, makes it something special. Yeah. So I also love that the computer and uh, the other computer are plastic molded pieces now and not just cardboard cardboard cutouts. Cut yeah. And it you looks know, great. I, I have to say that it looks great. The only thing that's been driving me crazy, I'm trying to look at the computer, but watching Sorcerer hold the staff with her arm in that pose is driving me crazy. <laughs> Who holds the staff like that? My God. Anyway. Um, but then, I love, I love it. I love the uh, computer being legit now, and yeah. it looks really good. So, uh, and go ahead. You know, one thing now because I'm trying to remember what we talked about last time when we were speculating. Well, now my fear is at rest that the hinges have a metal rod. Yeah. So you were scared that this was just a fold and seam, but it's got yeah. A metal rod, so uh, that is going to be great. Um, it won't wear out, and then you've got these that will snap closed. Is Probably that a snap or is that a latch? It looks like it's going to be a latch more than just yeah. a snap, you think? Let's go back over. Yeah, there's the latch right there. Oh, wow, an actual physical latch. That's cool. Yeah. I think that's better than something that clips on because that can break easy as well. Yeah. I love the throne because it is sort of a hybrid of what the mini comic showed us and the original toy version because it's got these little points at the top it's got it's got the color the color scheme from the original the feet have the holes the same way yeah it's just the top part they extend it out more which yeah. is nice i think it's great i love but do you think sorceress can sit in it right the floor looks like it's wood which i think is cool um i was right about the tower when you it's closed it makes a circle tower which is awesome to make us realize, okay, then Point Dread can happen like that. Yeah, I think Point Dread will happen. I mean, yeah. They were, like when, when I talked to the Horsemen years ago, when we didn't have a Castle Grayskull, and they would talk about the Castle Grayskull, and I, Point Dread wasn't happening. And I asked, you guys did design Grayskull with Point Dread in mind? And they're like, oh, we would never ever sculpt something if we didn't know that later on we'd have to add something to it yeah. so at least we this is a, must be a similar thing now okay this is obviously thinner plastic I'm, i feel like it's this still i still feel it's thinner plastic than the original so how would the too but looking at like some of the play sets from the 90s and so forth it was still it looks a lot more substantial than i thought it was looking at that kind of pixelated blurred version that you know we originally yeah. had, the leaked one 
Right. I'm I mean, going to come back good. to this because I've got some thoughts on the uh, training device. Mm -hmm. But um, there's the the uh, laser gun. It's kind of strange because this, it's like the laser is over here. And then you've got this sort of other feature. That is not what the old one looked like. Mm. It, um, is, it is a little different. That is something. Oh, no, now we're asking for a lot. Now it's just a piece of plastic. <laughs> they just made a slightly well, I mean, different you know, It would be so cool if it was like the, um, the artillery, that thing that did the light sensing thing. Oh, that's I, mean, I know that's a lot here. to ask, but I mean, the way technology is now, it could fit in something like that size. So, mm, yeah. Artillery, Brave Star. I know what we're getting at. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I doubt it's that's what it is, but you know. Mm. Uh, let's talk about the little gargoyle. He is a different sculpt. He is much more um, filled out. There's more to him. It's not just. It looks doesn't look like it's just a hollow back. No, it definitely looks a little more detailed. Like you know, like we talked about this, like you just mentioned, like you know, in this day and age, they can add more detail without being too costly. So yeah, they the added details. The elevator when they is actually screwed to the wall instead of pegs that are going to break. What once again, very good. And it looks like this is rounded here, so the string doesn't break. <laughs> They've thought of everything after they did. forty years. Forty years later, who would have thought they were going to? So I want to go back to, uh, here we go. So here's kind of a, you know, the, the bigger version. Um, everybody's bitching about the size of this flag. That doesn't bother me. Mm. I feel like right now I don't, right now my, your image is, your image is frozen on me. So I don't see the next image. Yet. I got like a. Oh, you don't see it yet. Yeah, it, it's it's like it's like frozen over. See okay. if I can make my um, life a little easier. Hey, hey, how's it going? Yeah, I'm, hey, how you doing? It's good to see you. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Boop. There it is. Okay. Can you see the thing now? Yeah, I can see it now. I haven't just okay. Seen. Sorry about that. So, um, again, everybody's bitching about the flag being smaller. Um, that doesn't bother me so much. It's got a smaller footprint, so you can like put it, you know, there, and it doesn't clip to the sides anymore. I don't know. I mean, I'm fine with that. It's a flag. Yeah, it's a flag. Like, I'm not gonna go nuts over a flag. I'm glad we have the flag. I do feel that overall, people have to realize the scopes are have to be different because the line is slightly different than the vintage line. Yeah. They do have a longer ratio of body since they have articulated points and they're a little taller than the vintage, so they're not as squatty. So everything has to be proportioned to the new line. I've also noticed on things that like the figures have to straddle. Here, I'm going to um, stop sharing for a second. Things like, say, the Road Ripper or the Dragon Walker, where the figures have to straddle, you know, to go in. The, the origins figures don't fit in them because their legs don't work that way. They don't go into a certain position. They don't like spread. They don't like their feet don't go out like this, like the, uh, their, the whole legs don't, I guess. So yeah. unless somebody has figured out something I haven't, I've tried them on those vintage vehicles and they don't work. So I have a feeling they're going to have to retool a lot of stuff. So Road Ripper and what was the other one? Dragon Walker for sure. At oh yeah, because literally you had to bend the legs like this, uh, yeah. shove them in originally. Really, that wasn't designed for them to fit in those either. It probably bent the rubber really bad over the oh, years. Sure. Just to put them in that originally. If we do get um, the Dragon Walker again, I would love it if it was like the original prototype painting where they stand up inside and it was cool. like a platform. That would be much cooler to me. No, no, I did notice someone tried. They couldn't get uh, a skill tour in the Rotan either. The vintage Rotan. He did, once again, it's the they won't fit. Um, you know, uh, little redesigns. You know, I, I'm hoping for 
uh, full redesigns on a lot of these toys. You know, aesthetically look the same, but mechanically inside to be completely different because that's the stuff you wouldn't see anyway. Yeah. So who cares how they sit in it, as long as it, they could sit in it. And then exteriorly, like, like my thing is, I always hated that, like the uh, Night Stalker and, you know, what was the other one? Um, the other um, horse. Night Stalker and um, Stridor. Strider, that they, uh, you just shove the physical body completely inside the damn horse. And it wasn't like a ride on, it was more right. like a vehicle. Like I felt like maybe if they could just do that technology, but make it like a ride on horse robotically, yeah. I would be over the moon with that. Uh, but you know, once again, it, it, they probably can get into those easier because it's just a big hollow body. Yeah. I feel like I know I haven't tried it yet with my point dread. I haven't tried the uh the talent fighter vintage with my new figures, but I'm assuming they'll fit fine in that. Um there's certain ones I know they probably fit just fine with. I know Battle Ram is okay. Yeah, um, Battle Ram's fine. Um the Bashasaurus is fine. I can get He Man in there, no problem. Um okay, so I I'm assuming things like Laser Hawk, Road Ripper and those things they can't really do well. I, I know for a fact that the mosquito looking uh, that for, that's that that's no problem because this is an open fright cockpit. Fighter. You can show, yeah, the fright fight. That's oh, I love. That's one of my favorite. If they make that in <laughs> Origins, I will sell. I will sell a kidney. Um, and because that's just a canopy, so it's easy yeah. enough, you know. So I, I'm figuring some things don't have to be redesigned, but redesigning some I'm okay with because, you know. But can we do want to talk about sorceress and the knees? Yeah, they do look different. They look like they remodeled it from the original figures. All right, let's go back into it. Let's do this. Um, get off my lawn. Oh. Um. Okay. I might have to like look at my other little thing. Let's see. Look at your things. Can you see this? I see. Uh, I see the the castle. Do you see the sorceress? The close up. Not yet. Okay. Um, all right. But I can pretend. <laughs> all right. Oh, let me stop the share. One What's day I'll get, on? one day I'll get this down, Pat. Uh, this is all the stuff you just add the images over afterwards and just <laughs> zoom in all you see your heart's okay. content. So let me do that. I'll add in the um uh, the image after the fact. So um I'm looking at her. Yes, it absolutely looks like they um, fixed the knees. They're not so prominent anymore. Now, curiosity is that when we when we talk about the other figures, like the the Shira that we we got the images of, her knees look like the old knees, though. Yeah, well, I'm sure that was designed and produced um, before PowerCon exclusive. I'm assuming, right? Yeah. So that would make sense. Uh, but looking at Sorceress, it gives you hope that, okay, going forward, maybe they'll do a Battlegrounds Tila, maybe they'll do a lighter skin Evil Lynn, and yeah. with, like, it's variants that we can get, uh, stuff like that. Have you seen the German leaked thing where it had, like, kind of, like, the list of everything? Yes. Uh, uh, there's a, like, Evil Lynn 2. I'm assuming that is a lighter skinned Evil Lynn. It has to be. It has to be Evil Lynn 2. Or like you know a re-release with fixed knees at the very least. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't think they're just gonna re-release Evil Lynn when people can barely get Evil Lynn one already. I'll put uh, this up. So I've got. This is where it's in Power Camp, Power Con, Moss Man, and all that other stuff. So we've got Roboto, Merman, Triclops, Evil Lynn two, Merman, uh, Stinkor, Fisto. Uh, Lord, it says L O P Beastman, so it's that's probably Lords of Power. I'm wondering if those Lords of Power figures are going to be released individually. I'm feeling that, um, they probably if they I don't see how they're going to really release those. Uh, the, the name alone is something that is controversial to begin with. And in this day and age, is worse than it was in the 80s, it feels like. So I seriously doubt the words Lords of Power will be there. Well, maybe they won't name it Lords of Power, but maybe that variation will come out. 
I mean, it's possible. I mean, anything is possible. But we, before we get into that, and we look back at that side box art, we can talk about that with Fisto, and maybe that's what that beast man might be. Yeah. Because um, it's a very different image. Also, just to kind of round this out, it's this green goddess faker and web store. So clearly those guys are coming. Well, then that'd be great if we get green goddess. Uh, with fixed knees. Wow. With fixed knees, no translucent. Just let's make a green skin. I don't need her to be clear, translucent green. Because um, I don't need it. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with the potential of a cracked uh, plastic. This is again. the guy that ordered a fifty-dollar translucent Skeletor. Absolutely. <laughs> but you know, my green, my vintage, my classic screen goddess is still unbroken, uncracked. I have a very lucky one that's not damaged. Yeah. So I'll, um, I'll take it. Before we before we go into um, whatever in the hell you wanted to go into box art. Side box art because i gotta go dig for it um i want to look at this real quick this little yes. um weapons rack which i'm assuming yeah, what, what the hell is that i don't know so it looks wasn't like, that a sticker no that's a, it looks like it's a physical like no i meant like from the vintage one wasn't there something like a sticker that or a cardboard it was piece a cardboard of cardboard thing that and was like a triangular. Like no, it didn't look like this. It held like it looked like I, I was thinking about the cardboard piece. It was kind of triangular. It had like three shelvings for like like a sword or some random. Yeah, weapons. it was like a triangular. Uh, right, 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 right. But like I don't know if the weapons lay across it or what happens if this is all the weapons we're getting. I mean, there's space for a shield and all this other stuff, and the weapons look like they've been completely redesigned as well. Yeah, well, my curiosity. Do you think that's just a magazine rack for the uh, Castle Grayskull's bathroom? Like, uh, <laughs> you can you could get a little uh, and one. Even if it's not, uh, we're gonna make that happen now. So. Yeah, that's it. Because there's a website called one twelve dot com or one twelve comics dot com <laughs> or something, and they make one twelve like size real comic books and they have all the Master Universe comic books in one twelve scales. So you can use it for your little sixes action figures. <laughs> just saying, I'm gonna buy them. <laughs> They have all, 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 all the comics. Uh, I will definitely have to look this up. Yeah, I'll send you the link later. Okay. Um, ladder looks great. It's wider. I mean, I'm all happy about it. I want the door to look like that and not just plain brown. So, well, I guess or we'll plain that. green. You know, it's 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 either one or the other. But do you see that that even on that that green on the emblem is different color green than the rest of the gray skull? Yeah. Yeah, it's just like I just don't know how I feel. I don't know where I am. I feel uh, confused. <laughs> and you've got this white splatter kind of on the stone here too. So this probably just got to be a mock-up. I'm sure. Um, let's talk about the training device. It does not look like to me that it turns. You don't think it turns? I don't think it turns. I think that the thing goes back and forth, but I don't. It does not look like to me that it turns. I could be dead wrong, but it looks like, you know, the little fist goes this way and then, but it's weird that they would do that because there's not a power punch like the originals had. Mm, yeah, that's true. There's no power punch because you could take them apart. Um, I don't know. I mean, uh, I, 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 I thought it, it, that's simple enough. A little snap in piece of spins is that why wouldn't it I do mean, that? You know, maybe I'm wrong here. I don't know. But clearly it does go back and forth through this hole. Well, that's weird. It's like you, what the hell will be the point of that? I don't know. I, I don't have any, uh, if all the things I'm not worried about so much, if that thing does just spin, I'm okay. Like, yeah. okay, I get it. Oh, but how are they supposed to train? The toys, use your imagination. So I'm not worried about it not spinning. <laughs> I'm not going to lose my mind over that. I'm losing my mind over the color scheme that's driving me the most crazy. <laughs> yeah. And at first it looked very play school to me, but um, – 
I think it really just depends on the paint app. It really does. I think it is cool that with this gray skull, it is a combination of uh, the vintage and some modern aesthetics where you see the drawbridge underneath actually has like two little steps before the drawbridge. Yeah. I think that's different because the original one was just straight on the ground. So uh, it's nice to see that. And that whole lip, like you talked about, that goes up just under the whole gray skull. Yeah. It's like they built like a, um, you know, a lot of places you have water problems. I feel like they had a built gray skull a little higher just in case their basement floods. That's There's right. like, I don't, I don't know what, <laughs> why that has that little bit of lip your speculation is that maybe like a play mat or something can go underneath there but um it'll be really cool if they were really smart but i know they're not on the inside of the box is the stygium moat cut out yeah just a car in the side of the cardboard box you know when we were kids cereal boxes of things you could cut out that were on the inside of the cardboard box and it was awesome yeah. just a printed image on the inside of the box you can cut out and stick in there or something. That would be cool. That'd I doubt be a great it. Great idea. Yeah, but I don't work for Mattel. Well. <laughs> um, has Scared Low or Manny Faces or Orco been seen in your little area of the world yet? I have shared one image of one skeleton ripped open in Long Island. There was no other. No, my, my cousin did give me one He-Man. That was it. She saw one He-Man on the shelf and one Skeletor broken in another store. And she goes, two days before when she went there, they, were, they didn't have any stickers out. So she's like, I don't know how. They just automatically were all sold out in two seconds. She was, I'm assuming scalpers or something. Yeah. So no, to answer your question, no. And I'm going to depend on all, all my lovely friends to help me once again. Yeah. Uh, it's ridiculous. I'll help you out as I can. So let's yeah. talk about Shira. Um, this I think she looks. This looks really nice. I love it, and evidently we have sculpted hair as we thought. We said it. I said it was too yellow to be real rooted hair, and we were right. God, I gotta tell you, we know our stuff. I mean, I <laughs> like that she's got sculpted hair instead of rooted hair. I think it's more action figure esque, and it, yeah. it just goes along with the rest of the. Whole. And you know, and the, my problem with the rooted hair on any toy, you know what happens after a while? It just looks like man, they got the walk of shame going. Yeah, with like, you know, their hair doesn't <laughs> look good. And if you're not, and then you know, and, and most guy collectors are not good at brushing hair, so to take care of that hair is a real son of a sea cook, man. I'm yeah. telling you. And, and once again, I'm looking at the cape. Now, Scareglow was supposed to have a fabric cape, and he didn't. Yeah. Because I saw someone do a review who actually had Scareglow in hand, and it was a rubber plastic cape. Yeah. It looked fabric, but it was not. So this looks fabric, but I'm assuming it's not. I think this probably is fabric. But why does she get to have fabric and Scareglow does not? Probably because... Just to fuck with us? To fuck with us. <laughs> also, just the articulation and the rest of her little area, you know, her little skirt and all this stuff, all that is fabric, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, I was concerned because, yeah, that looks fabric, but what if it's not? <laughs> it's like, Maybe it's, like, it's not, I don't know. I mean, soft goods, they make a big deal out of making soft goods nowadays. Like, it's such a, a thing. Meanwhile, yeah. soft goods was always easier back in the day, so I don't know how soft goods is no longer easier. Whatever. I love her sword. I yeah. love that it looks like the power sword. Yeah, it's got the gold look to it, and uh, I, I love they, they could have easily just had it with the silver sword, but they made it the gold because the vintage toys did that, man. Like They didn't have... The swords were all different colors all the time. It was like yeah. never just all silver swords, and it was like very colorful. Uh, I like her boots. That looks great. Yeah, I'm curious, like how they're gonna do, um, like the shin articulation. Does it come out from the boot end? Because like, could you use those whole shin boot things on another person? Yeah, like that's where I'm. You know, I haven't messed with my evil in Attila to take off their boot yet to see what's happening there. I'm curious to see what happens with uh, Shira and that. I bet that it works the same way because you've got that articulation right above the furry part. I'm sure it's right there with the um, 
it's probably part. inside, right? Like like inside yeah. the boot. Yeah. That's cool. And to That's... me, those knees look like they've been fixed. Those. Oh, you know like... what? I just thought maybe it was the pose that makes them look better. Maybe I don't know. Eva Lynn's didn't look that bad in the the in the on images, images we saw, and she had those regular knees too. Yeah. And the images look cool because you see how they have her slightly bent and they have her posed a certain way yeah. to make it not look as god awful. I do. I'm just saying. <laughs> So uh, you want to talk about the box art. Let's look at the box art. There's a lot going on on the box art. Yeah. All over the place. Some images don't let you see really good. And then recently I got the side art image. Yeah. Oh, this, this, this is, look at that mug on Shira, though. I love it. She looks like she's going to whoop someone's ass. Look at that. <laughs> like she's gonna, what did you say, mother? You know, just like, I love it. So there are the shitty knees up there. And yeah, the, you see, see that? I was looking at Maybe I just got confused by that. But I mean, I don't know. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see. Oh, well. Let's move on. Um, yes. Again, now, the box art is just amazing. Um, on the right side of this box art, it's really hard to see, but there's stuff happening at the top above uh, Grayskull. Yeah. There's three sky sleds. And there's people on it, but it's so hard. And I haven't gotten a really, really, I got a decent image, I think I sent you, but not good enough to say, all right, those are definitive characters. This, these images are amazing. Yeah. This is on the side. I'm going to back up real quick. So we don't have close-ups of the sky sled, but what we're, and over here, we've got Manny Faces and Beast Man fighting. There's Tila, there is uh, Stratos, <coughs> excuse me, and Trapjaw. We're going to look over here on this side panel now. I wonder what's on the other side. Yeah, well, that probably, so um, this image is driving me crazy because there's two characters on these flying things, and it's it's so annoying because it's like, a, I want these things now. Yeah, we should reach out to Nate and just go, "What is up with all of this?" Nate signs NDAs. He won't tell us. He's a I good know, boy. but he's too good of a boy. He won't tell us. Even in private, he won't tell us. And, he'll, and then when he gets released, he'll apologize to me later. So I couldn't tell you. And I'm like, yeah. stop it, Nate. He's too nice. Jerk um, and the don't mean nothing like, to us. Though, these guys have been seen on box art somewhere else. Oh, yeah, definitely during the time of uh, Rudy Obrero doing the original artwork, they threw in lots of characters in the background. But this guy right here in the front looks so familiar, like a ladybird character or something, because of the horns. He kind of reminds me of, I think the character's name was Visor from Black Star. Yeah, yeah had yeah. these types of horns. That horn design, so that gets me excited. Like if they make this character, I can customize a visor character for Blackstar. Yeah. Um, but these, this, I love these. These, uh, I love that. Like, I, one's purple, one's kind of red. It feels like the scheme from Zor and Screech, but on these pterodactyl looking. It's just beautiful looking. Like you know, you just open up more possibilities. Zor and Screech. I think it was on the Panthor box art. Yes, sir. You so saw Screech. Screech up there. Now, so. curiosity is, are they just going to use the classic Screech? So they, I, and I don't feel they will just reuse parts for this line for some reason. Yeah. But I don't see why they couldn't. I mean, the Screech, that scale, fit with classics. Why wouldn't it fit with Origins? I don't Unless know. Part of me bigger. wants a Screech like the old Big Jim Screech. They're just a big old bird? Yeah. I mean, that's fine. But... Yeah, I guess. I'm not against it. I'll take well, whatever you know we get. what? For you, let's do both of them. I have it already, so I'm not giving up my birds. So I have the <laughs> classics version. So if it ends up being the big old giant ones, I'm cool with it. <laughs> I mean, I don't see – I mean, we in, in episodes past, we talk about how, like, the Shadow Beast from classics could be reused. The Giants could be reused. Uh, the Griffin could be reused. Uh, yeah. You know, you want to go that route for these guys so well yeah i mean i don't see why you would waste a mold on those classics when they would still fit with the origins figures yeah um maybe just dull down the paint application on yeah. it that's what they really have to do 
those figures be ready to go and more hollow. Yeah. You know, just don't don't keep it so f- heavy and detailed, and you could you could use them, and it would be just fine. Like a blow um, mold type thing instead of like a solid piece of plastic. Right. Like obviously you couldn't do that with Battle Cat. You couldn't do that with like actually the horses. You can't do that with certain characters. And maybe not the Griffin either because it's a, it's awful big. Yeah. So you may not be able to use that per se. But if you can save a couple cents here and there on some characters that you don't know will sell well, hey, you already got the molds. Yeah. But with these, 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 these are really cool looking. Now here, oh. That so here's beautiful. Fisto, and there's the skeleton warriors uh, from the front of the box art coming up, and Evil End kind of on the right side there. Yeah. Um, have we seen this guy he's fighting before? No, but if you look at the armor, uh, you can kind of see it feels like a Beastman-esque. Yeah. That's why I'm curious when they say Lords of Power Beastman. What if it's not so much the Lords of Power Beastman, but Beastman with this alternate type of head? Yeah. Because then all they have to do is just make a new head. I love it. And I mean, they've already kind of teased us that there's going to be new characters. So yeah. I, I'm and fine I with I love this, that yeah. it's going back to sort of that barbarian... Alcala kind of uh, sensibility and not just, you know, filmation. Filmation. Because I think that is what people are going to resonate with now instead of just. I think people still love filmation. I think even the. Uh, well, I'm, talking now... about, I'm talking about new comers into this. Yeah, I think the new kids and new people on the block are going to be coming to buy this line. Because I've seen um, some of these Facebook groups, people are new and don't know anything of classics yeah. i've seen questions like people brought up i brought up the fighting foam man at one point in time and i had like 10 people going what's the fighting foam man and i'm like these are fine foam man or the original three pack that roger sweet created uh, i forget what they ended up calling that in the classics line but they gave a name to that character uh the one Fight. with the tank and the, all yeah, of yeah. they gave a, they gave like a name for that guy who could change into these different pieces i'm like yeah, yeah. it should be different characters and I was I had customized just to just to tease to see how it would look. I took uh, the the Boba Fett looking jetpack part, mm-hmm. put it on a Triple H Origins figure, and it looks amazing and it fits yeah. in perfectly. And people are like, what is that from? I'm like, it's from this. And they're like, I don't know what that is. I'm like, here's the original Roger Sweets thing. <laughs> yeah, they made it for Classics line. They're like, oh, I've, I don't know anything about that. I'm like, so wait, you're buying figures of th- this new line, and they don't know. So what? They're, they're winning. They're, they're bringing in new fans. It's like actually their theory is kind of working. Like for the first time in anyone's life, new people come in. Also classics was an online exclusive. You had wow. to be a diehard. So I get a lot of the, say these are He-Man fans. That, they're, not, they're, not, not, they're not He-Man fans, but they're not on the dot org. They're not, you know, buying the. They're nostalgic books. and they remember it, but they're not. Like, yeah. They're not. They've not been collectors for, you know. But I'll years. tell you right now, that when they saw what I was doing with with the thing, they're like, "I want that. That is freaking cool." So okay, to them it's new and they're cool with it. To us, it's like we already know this exists, and we would be cool with it. So now, like, okay, you know, you could trudge the waters. What else can you guys make? And that box art showing this Beastman body which is different head and that mace whip that mace battle mace man would that be good yeah 100 yeah. percent, i'm cool with that so i i mean i'm very excited i hope that you know this continues to move forward i've actually seen reese i mean clearly because i talked to you on the phone about it uh my Walmart has restocked a bunch of stuff and I can see they're selling through the figures too. When I kind of go and and look, well, there's places that people still haven't seen like here. We're not seeing it, but uh, we did see a little bit, but we're talking like just he-man skeletors, no evil ends, no men in arms, none of those figures. 
Uh, and even with the WWE ones, it, they still got the John Cena's and Roman Reigns sitting there. Yeah, more which is this. Too. Yeah, that that's a problem. Those are going to be peg warmers. Uh, you got to move. The, you got to clearance those. You know, you took the chance, clearance the John Cena, clearance the Roman Reigns, and get the other characters on the shelves. They're going to fly off the shelves because the people are waiting for that. Uh, people want the next wave. They want the next wave. So you you already splooge your luge because you overstock. The He-Man, Skeletor, John Cena, and Roman Reigns, because I get why they're the main. If you're not a He-Man collector, you're a WWE fan. John Cena and Roman Reigns are the big kid sellers. Yeah. Well, WWE made Roman Reigns a bad guy now, so the kids hate him. So he's not going to fly off the shelves now. And John Cena hasn't wrestled a real match in uh, officially for the company in several years. He only comes once a year. Hey, remember me? I beat this guy up, and he leaves. He goes makes movies again. So the kids aren't a John Cena fan like that yeah so clearance them out put the other characters up in the newer characters mr t is cool looking the uh this jake the snake is cool these are great looking characters and the seth rollins is cool because he is currently an active member of the wrestling company who they can depend on to be okay uh, he, he's gonna sell for them yeah. and and I, the, they need to get to those characters because those will move faster don't just let those things peg warm because the next waves don't come and yeah. then that's what my problem is. Yeah. Uh, it's good to see that they're clearing out, though, because I feel like, you know, I know Michael Zolotro, uh, Zolo World, he legitimately went to a Walmart. He bought all the He-Man figures because a lot of his collectors, a lot of people on his Facebook page are like, I can't find them. He's like, you know what? He bought the stock. He just took a shopping cart, filled it up, took a picture, goes, at cost, let me know. No one's going to be suffering. He just legitimately found it bought it all and he's just selling it he's not selling it for a markup he's just selling it so the guys who are collectors can get it yeah and it's said that he has to do that but at least someone is bringing that for the community and it's smart for him because he's got his own line of toys that he can sell on the side of it like hey you know yeah i hooked you up by one of my guys and eh, that's smart or buy my cases because i make cases for these collectible figures yeah but i mean it's hard i wish more people did that uh who can get it like that but you know um it's also dangerous because it also people think that you'll be scalping yeah but but let's get those next wave going let's get the next wave going i'm excited man that scare glow looks great even oh, oracle yeah. who i who i don't like looks good um i love that it comes with a floating stand you know what is it trap drawers we've been dying for this is one of our yeah ass about let's get trap drawers and who's the other one it's trap drawers it's many faces many let's get faces, these guys trap going draw, scare glow and orca yep let's get it going already let's get to these figures uh i know they want to space them out holidays are coming let's get this going let's you know guys push it i, I don't think mattel realizes success as much as they wanted to yeah i maybe this is just wishful thinking on my part but i bet we're going to see more stuff uh, like the, the, the new wave of figures coming out um, by Thanksgiving because they want to push stuff for the holidays. Yeah, I get it. You want to definitely true. And they got away for the climate of society to chill out. We're, well, these figures are selling out still we're during gonna, a pandemic. We're going to be in this climate for a while yet, I think. Oh, no, I, I agree. At least, you know, no, our new normal is going to be at least a couple of years like this. I get that. Uh, but, you know, we don't need to go backwards. Yeah. So I feel that, you it's know, that they're selling. Motion, but, you know. Yeah. But for, for this to sell as well as doing in the climate we're dealing with and the store we're dealing with, Walmart, yeah. uh, it's done pretty well. Um, the, the support groups have been great and alcohol has helped a lot because Walmart is just abysmal I, I'm not going to lie I just got my beast man in the mail and like my wife and me were walking down the stairs with my daughter uh, we have we got her scooter we're about to get ready to go outside and I'm like hey babe is that the Walmart box she's like yeah and she's like that box don't look big enough I'm like yeah no it don't we'll come back later we came back later to the box in the hallway go upstairs of course it's like if the box was maybe just two inches longer, would they, they be put it in it, half or something? No, no, they, they didn't. They were nice enough just to shove it in, so it just bent. They didn't fold it, luckily, but they bent it. So it's like, like if I was a, it was like in the package like that, 
And it was like, well, that's still bad. And I'm going, you know what? Fuck you. And then, yeah. and then they punch it and they kick it and drop kick it. So, no, I mean, at least they did that for me. And they did put some bubble in it, which was, I was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> they waved it's like, bubble wrap around it, like just waved it over the top. They, they took no, they put two pieces of bubble wrap and just put one there and one there. <laughs> You're good. And I was like, you know, at least I'm opening it up. So it wasn't that damaged. I don't care because I'm, you know, I open them. But to me, it's like, you know, I was thinking of that first wave of WWE ones and how they just like they folded it in half, shoved it in the box, just barely the bigger than the figure. And you're like, are you serious? Then they sent me a box that was this big. And had the one figure in it, and he was perfect. And I was like, "Why? Where's the where's the rhyme or reason? Like, if you're gonna mess it up, do me a favor, mess it up across the board. Like, yeah. at least I feel good. Like, all right, they're small box me. Well, they've been shipping them also in bubble bags, like the balls on them. Like, so people were getting them in like just the envelopes. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I've I've gotten a couple of those. So it's like um, one thing that I've heard online is that like gray skull and i'm trying to remember something else i feel like i've heard that the sculpting looks a little soft that the the the, the details aren't quite as pronounced what are your thoughts on that well i think it all has to do with the paint application yeah when you see that one that looks beautiful it's perfect absolutely I think that goes with any toy that we get. You'll see lots of times when, like, you'll see a, a really good artist. He'll take a toy that looks like abysmal, strips the paint off, and then he paints it. And you realize, oh no, it's not the sculpt; it's just the paint application. The paint application means the world to a toy. You know, uh, uh, without it, you have this blank figure. Like, you know, if you look at like the Skeletor figure, that the clear one that I paid fifty bucks for no goddamn good reason for, it looks gorgeous. You know, but that's because the sculpt shines through. You see how good it is. And then you'll see some of the Skeletors in box look gorgeous. And then some look, oh, man, it looks a little, like a little wonky. Well, that's the paint app wasn't done right. And that's where you're going to see where Castle Grayskull is going to have, not that it's soft, but with the right paint app, it's going to look perfect because the sculpt has all these details. You, yeah. You've seen this before. People post pictures of a dollhouse, like a Barbie dollhouse. And they stripped it and they painted it and it looks like a friggin' mansion that they could put the X-Men in. And someone actually did that. And you're like, what did you do differently? It's called paint. Yeah. He just painted it differently, you know? The crappy plat the molding is is the molding and it's perfect. The sculpt is sculpt. It's there. The details are there. If you don't paint like all the turtles toys, all the vintage turtles are gorgeously sculpted figures with so much detail. But a lot of times it wasn't painted. And if you look at a vintage turtle toy, like, the, you know, was it Muckman? He, his foot is a sewer cover stuck to it. He yeah. has, like, creature, and it's all sculpted beautifully, but it's not painted with detail to notice those details. And that's what Castle Grace was going to feel soft. It's like that one plastic, that one, the, that really neon green, it looks soft. Yeah. Well, there's no details painted into that. Yeah. But the one with the actual poster art looking thing, absolutely perfect it's the same sculpt it's yeah. the same sculpt it's a it's a problem so walmart says the estimated delivery date is sometime in april so we'll see yeah, if so they actually follow through with that because i've we got were shocked we thought we were really hoping for christmas when we talked last about this yeah when we got the teaser so i was hoping that yeah okay you know christmas item get the castle grace go going get people pumped for going into the next year for this line and they're like no we're gonna get april well april is not a time frame for a big playset item yeah playset items are always holidays i mean also i'm thinking back in the olden days when we that's when you got play sets you know a deluxe a deluxe figure like the the man and the battle ram um you know um ram man Mm -hmm. the battle armor that coming out in April makes sense. Cause it's a deluxe figure. It teases the whistle going into the summer. Cause then there's the convention exclusives. Then you go into the fall, you know, so you figured Castle Grey school kid came out Christmas this year. Yeah. And at Christmas next year, you would get snake mountain, you know, with like the, <coughs> but to go, okay, yeah, we'll go do Castle Grey school in April. Okay. Only thing that makes April safe 
as people get the tax returns. So buying Castle Grayskull could happen more in April because your tax return, that's if any of us get tax returns next year, depending on what's going to happen with society and that $1,200 stimulus that we got yeah. that they claim they might tax us next year on. So don't forget that happened, guys. So uh, I'll tell you the other reason for April, um, I bet, is because that is when the Netflix series is coming out. Or you really think it's going to happen that soon? I mean, I just don't know if it's going to come out. That You wouldn't debut a show like that April. That's a mid-season replacement, and that would be – I, I mean, it's it Netflix doesn't count. count. So they're giving it enough yeah. time to kind of like mm. – Well, That's just – that's my theory. I have nothing to base that on, so – well, my also problem is that, you know, Toy Fair is going to supposedly happen. We got the email in May. Yeah. So May, if it happens, Toy Fair would happen at Jacob Javits in May. And Mattel is a big thing. And they were promoting the next wave or whatever they would do there. Well, I'm sure Toy so, Fair is going to happen. Whether it happens virtually, virtually or, or physically is, remains to be seen. They got lucky. Toy Fair got to happen, luckily, before, right before the pandemic. Because it's, it's February. It was a... It was the cutoff point. Um, yeah. We knew of COVID. We knew that China couldn't be there. Like the, like I told you, a lot of the boots weren't there when we went to Toyota. It was very eerie to see. But at the same time, if everything goes right, May will be Toy Fair. So why maybe you release Cast Grayskull right before Toy Fair, and then you could see Snake Mountain. I don't know. I mean, my whole problem is like all the things that I've learned over the years about how the toy business functions, this isn't following the functional, normal, old school route, which I get, it should change. So we're in uncharted territories. We're like, okay, how are the items? How are the items? They, they used to beat me in the head. I still get the emails from all the toy companies. Holiday list us. How they wish us. Here are these things coming out for the holiday. You fucking want this now? It's like Christmas. <laughs> and I get like, okay, I got it. So my brain's so used to like big ticket items. Christmas. Yo, Cass Gray is called 79, 75, 100, whatever the fuck it is. It's, yeah. it's, it's a big ticket item. You know, technically 75 bucks nowadays isn't a big ticket item, right? Because no. I'm looking at the uh, the Samurai Mandalorian figure from uh, SH Figure Arts, and that's $100 for a six-inch action figure. And I'm like, that's doable. I'm like, no, it's not, Rob. Don't even look at it. <laughs> Get off that link. You don't need that. I'm like, but it looks so good. It doesn't even come with the baby. Shut up, you. And so I'm, that's the conversation in my head uh, all yesterday, by the way. It was like Castle Grayskull the Mandalorian figure and I'm like fighting with myself. Like you don't need either stupid. So, um, but the big ticket items are always holiday. So the sea castle grace go, I guess maybe they couldn't get it done in time. So maybe that's why they said fucking April. You know, get it. Cause don't forget beginning of February, end of January, China has a four week holiday. Yeah. They just take off for four weeks factories are shut down you ain't getting shit made and it was like well that's bullshit but like, yeah but those people in china don't get any time off yeah they work in the factory there's no christmas there's no thanksgiving there's no labor day there's no nothing they work and so they get four weeks they deserve that so <laughs> so yeah. they, they shut down the factories and super seven was the first one to ever admit admit that yeah. Super 7, I remember, a lot of toy companies like, well, you know, we push things back because uh, we'll try to get in before this time frame. And they never tell you why. Well, how, this stuff that happens in China, that they, it's, but they'll never tell you there's this, this big, huge shutdown that they do. Here's, here's mental relief. Go spend that 75 cents you made in the country. And that's what they get that time off. So, but Super 7 say, like, hey, this is a holiday. They shut down. We ain't getting nothing until after this time frame. So that's probably why they're figuring April. Because, hey, let's do it now. And I feel that these pre-orders are to prove the numbers to go ahead to release it. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of big companies, like, you know, Super, um, uh, Maddie Collector, they used to have to reach these minimums. And Scott would always tell you, we have to reach these minimums to get this toy made or it just doesn't get made. I feel that they've done away with that. And they have used Walmart to go, hey, put this up as pre-order. But if it doesn't come out to April, what, what are we pre-ordering? Like, you know, I don't understand. Like, what are we pre-ordering? It's not coming out to April. But that's because I think they're using these first run to kind of 
feel what the fans are, what the collectors are, and use that to gauge how many they will make. Hey, yeah. do we go for our minimum for our factory or do we go more than our minimum for our factory for this? And I think that's what the April turnaround is because you figure it's October, the pre-order sold out yesterday. It might come back up in a week or so for like another one day. Mm -hmm. But these numbers from yesterday are going to dictate to Mattel, okay, let's go full minimum or more than full minimum. And those will come out in April. Yeah. Because you figure, let's see, November, December, January, February, March, April, that's six months. And they always say a toy takes about six months lead in time. Mm -hmm. So there's your numbers. And that's why this happened. Yeah. I don't think the figures do that, but I definitely do that this Castle Grayskull being that far in the future. Because you notice, uh, if that was the case, why wasn't the deluxe He Man available now? Why yeah. wasn't the Ram Man available as a pre order now? Why are the figures that they're already you can get in store pre orders now? Well That's also they said, you know, that 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 stuff which will be out presumably next summer is going to be a wide release that multiple retailers can do. And I'm hoping Walmart that. is kind of the benchmark right now. So I, I don't know. I don't know. But like, what, what does it mean multiple? I'm trying like, to come up with some sort of like logic, but I can't. Like my whole point is like, what stores can they possibly sell in target Walmart? Who else? Kmart's gone. Big Bad Toy Store and all of those other places. That would be great. I would deal with it. I mean, I know that they'll get all that stuff. And I mean, I'll just get it right from them because they're it, better to deal with. They're better to deal with. Big Bad Toy Store. We're going to have the great. Target exclusives and the Walmart exclusives and all that crap. And I'm like, fine with like, didn't we had mentioned that they talked about the two packs? Okay, they mentioned it at PowerCon. What's going on with that? And anytime I'd like to say Big Bad Toy Store uh, would like to sponsor us, you know, we're right here. I'm okay. just saying uh, we buy enough shit from you guys. Oh, and guys, I'm going to tell you right now, I know this is a really scumbag thing to say, don't use Megalopolis. Oh, why is that? Uh, I'm still waiting for four cassette transformers that's been available in every store everywhere else for the last four months, and they keep blaming COVID. And he's, the, I'm not the only one. Everybody I know has dealt with Megalopolis directly, yeah. has had a failure. And they keep saying, oh, I'm sorry. We're going to get it to you as soon as we can. Dude, I could have bought it on eBay or a Big Bad Toy Store back in August. Would have gotten it in August. It's now October. It's not here. And it's like, and I can't cancel it. I can't do nothing. They keep telling me to wait. That's 40 bucks. Uh, Megalopolis do. Why can't you of, cancel it? I mean, even. They're being, they're, like, they're even acting. Even everybody scared. else I can cancel stuff from. They're starting to act slightly like, I hate to say it, like Jeff Beckett Jr. toys. Like they're starting to act completely like Shocker toys. And no one needs to act like Shocker toys. And the worst part is they, they sponsor Pixel Dance videos, you know? But. My thing is that, with that being said, you know, the uh, the Four Horsemen used them for Mythic Legion. Yeah. But when I did that, I got those figures a problem because it's, you know, Four Horsemen gives it to them to ship out. So once the Horsemen have it, then it's going to get shipped out through Megalopolis. But this is something I purchased through Megalopolis. You see, when you do the Mythic Legions, you get that from the Four Horsemen. Yeah. You see, I they're having there's a disconnect between the company. How Megalopolis does stuff when they're not when they're fully in charge from when they're not fully in charge, and it's like, dude, this, these are our Hasbro figures. These are not like, come on, guys, where the fuck is it? And so I was like, be careful, be forewarned, deal with Big Bad Toy Store, they rock. Uh, even though I should have just bought my stuff too. I I'm it is a lesson learned to me. I should have just dealt with Big Bad Toy Store instead of dealing with Megalopolis. <laughs> Well, I mean, for me, I have no experience with them whatsoever, but good. I love keep it that way store because that's who I, you know, mm. mostly shop. Yeah, Even Entertainment, Entertainment Earth was really, really good. I don't really shop with anymore. I you usually just do Big Bad Toy Store. Yeah, they've got the toys best are just prices, and they've got the best in the shipping. And again, we're not and, sponsored by them, but you know, we've got and, and they also good customer relationship. Yeah, and, and I really we're saying this because we really want them just to. 
guys, why don't you have someone to sit on the button and you guys order the Walmart stuff? You guys do it. <laughs> you get it. I think they're afraid to, too, because they can't guarantee the safety of the package. Yeah. And just like as we can see, but once, but people but buy once like all these different retailers uh, can order directly from Mattel wholesale, then it I think it's going to be a complete game changer because they yeah. can um, they can ship it safely and you know get it yeah. in, um, to collectors the way collectors want it. So and I get some things are going to hold them in half, you know. You guys got to say that there's stuff that happens. Like, like we've dealt with power console. We know that when uh, you get the figures getting shipped from China straight to here, stuff happens in, in, in transport. No matter how much safety nets are in place and how safe they shrink wrap the pack, something's going to get damaged. Yeah. So they're always a little bit, expect a little bit of damage. But when uh, it gets safely shipped to Walmart store. And then from Walmart's guys, they go, fuck you. Here's your shit. Wipe my ass with this one. This is yours. Hey, you, you're five. That's yours, you know? <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> but uh, I feel that this line is really taking them off. And I've seen people who are against it start to come around. I heard people originally, like, I'm not buying it all. Yes, now I mean, saying, kind of like, they're getting, like, I'm cherry picking. They're like, oh, you're cherry picking for now. You're going to start getting it all. And that's cool. I mean, yeah, that's I what I said it. about G.I. Joe classified. And then I'm like, <laughs> you're all in, right? I'm all I in want, now. So. See, I wanted Zartan, but uh, I don't need that Zartan that bad. Oh, I needed that Zartan. Because, you know, I feel like that Zartan should have been the one that came with like the swamp vehicle, like how they did the Baroness packing with the motorcycle. I would get the Zartan. I still have yet packed. to find, but. Really? Did you talk to? Oh, I've talked Will? to Will. I've talked to a bunch of other people, and like can't find. Trying, Red, right? Can't find Cobra Trooper. Can't find. Uh, yeah, it, it, they were able to get it, and like what Will's thing was, like he bought for like the ones who would, people would ask him what wanted. He went and picked up just that. He told the lady, "Excuse you, she's fire truck." Um, Will went out of his way, like, to tell it just one, more, one more second. We have enough. All right. Something really bad's happened, apparently. Good luck. <laughs> How far away are you? Tree. You're in Brooklyn. How far away are you from, like, the uh, protests and so forth where – Well, we had protests in the neighborhood, and they were very polite. They gathered in the park, and every night at the park at 7 o'clock, they took their knee, and they gave a five-minute moment of silence. Over a thousand people, all mass and proper, and then they would walk past my house because I'm on a boulevard. So they would come yeah. from the park and they walk all the way up to the boulevard and they would march over the bridge, go to Queens, and very peaceful. Not one anything happened here. No damage was done here. No disrespect was done here. Where the damage happens, where my job is in the city, where, and it only happened once. It happened at the beginning when it yeah. really was bad, right? Um, they smashed some windows. Uh, they smashed up Fifth Avenue, um, and then they went home. But we've had so many protests here every day that we've had no damage and no yeah. problem. But you don't get those. Once again, just like everything else, that doesn't get reported. You get, you get. Oh my God, they broke a window. I'm like, yeah, this is an asshole. Yeah, but look, there's like 20 assholes. Yeah, guess what? The world is full of them. So you deal with that. But yeah, you know, we've had no uh, serious issues. Uh, in the neighborhood, because this neighborhood is very diverse, very um, you know, they're all got the same mentality in this neighborhood for the most part. Yeah, they're all hipsters with money, but at the same time, they all hate Republicans. So you, you're not gonna have a problem in this neighborhood, but you know, <laughs> they, yeah. they know what it's like to have a cafe and feel your pain. You know, they got that both. You know, <laughs> it's, I don't have a better way to put it. Um. But you know, I, 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 I'm. This line is so exciting because I was in. Seriously, there must be something really happening because if that's like the third guy, they're just excited to do something. I think. Um, <laughs> this cat's stuck in a tree. Um, uh, <laughs> they're all gonna film it. Um, but the line looks so good. The yeah. line 
feels so, you know, strong and it, it's fun. Yes, it's the it's the line that feels like the vintage, but at the same time, it's new. Yeah. And, and a lot of people said they wish that this line would have happened before the classics. But I feel that at that time, that couldn't have happened. Classics had to happen when classics did. Yeah, classics paved the way for this to happen. Yep. I mean, there's no question. Absolutely. And let's be serious. If, if this line had to happen through the way the classics had to happen, and they would have bitched a lot more for that price tag because this $14.99 is because it's a full retail release. Yeah. And people don't seem, even to this day, to understand that. They are still arguing over the prices of stuff, thinking that, well, you're getting $15 a figure. That should be more. I'm like, listen, what do you even know? This is, this is, this is why I I'm, I'm, get reluctant when you're dealing with making any product. You know, my wife is an artist, deals with people going, well, why do you charge X amount of dollars for a drawing? And you're like, you do it then. Yeah. If you are such a master toy maker, you make this line for yourself and tell me how much it would cost you. I know how much it costs me to make those little figures I've been working on. Just to, you know, it's here, so here's, annoying. Here's also the thing that people do not understand. So like, I'm going to go over, like, it's the same thing with art, but like from a voiceover perspective, you're not just paying for the recording or you're not just paying for the artwork. You're paying for the training. <laughs> You're paying for the 20 years of training that it took to get there. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it's it, you like, also your time, your energy, that you know, for the minute you contact this you're person and you and for, said from something. From a toy perspective, you're paying for the all those designers, all those marketers, all the packaging, all of the other shit that went into it. You're not the just paying for a toy. The pain app. Everything comes out of your pocket. No one's fitting, flipping the cost so you can have a toy. You know, and they really think it's like nickels and dimes, and it's really not. No. It costs. And, you know, there's different types of – people have to understand, too, plastic, there's different types of plastic. Different types of plastic cost different types of money. Um, but I hate to, like, you know, I hate to do this. But I will, um, you know, if this stuff, we're paying for stuff, I'm assuming, that is coming from China, that is probably made in a factory with less than ideal working conditions and pay conditions. Yeah. Mattel yeah. probably won't admit that, but I mean, let's face facts. If this was made in forget America if it was made in a country where you had laws that are good wages, good uh, working conditions, and, you know, all of that, mm -hmm. not underage workers and so forth, then it's going to be more expensive. So, I also understand that, like, you know, that $14 and change price tag it's an, is covering... It's an inconvenient truth, but it's the truth. You talk about like you said, designers, artwork, whatever, all the Mattel end, retail end, yep. shipping, then the factory end. Okay. All that in 15 bucks. You guys have no concept. My friend, which I should pimp it right here. My friend is a fashion designer. He does Velasquez La Madrid. It's coming yeah. out next year. So this is a, I helped him fix up his logo and everything. So these are prototypes. So these aren't even officially, he's not doing it to next year because he said, I'm not doing a high-end fashion line and then killing people who are suffering through COVID to buy a fancy shirt for 200 bucks. But he, he's been working on this and he's worked with many uh, clothing companies in the past. He's, he started uh, Brooklyn Basements, which was a pretty big uh, clothing line back in the day. He uh, did all the designs for them. He worked for, um, he did collaborations with Supreme and, and um, other guys. I, just people, trust me, you, you go to a fashion store or high end, like whatever, you've seen work. He's worked on it. Yeah. He created a jacket called the Stormtrooper. The jacket had Kevlar in it. It had all this high end material and he charged $200 a jacket. Okay. Yeah. And it cost him 
about almost a hundred dollars to for each coat. No, not ten dollars, not twenty, a yeah. hundred. Okay, it was a limited edition run. Now it could have cost him cheaper if he made thousands, but it was a limited edition run. He did uh, five hundred jackets, winter coats, with Kevlar, legitly bulletproof material, like all this stuff and uh, a certain amount of colors each. They all sold out. Now, if you wanted to get the Stormtrooper jacket, I think one was sold on eBay for seven thousand dollars. Yeah, but it got held up by customs. Because customs, when it comes to America, goes, oh, whoa, 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 is this bootleg? And you're like, no, it's my independent company. Oh, okay. So uh, you're going to pay us $10,000 so you can sign the custom form and get your coats now? And you're like, what do you mean $10,000? I paid the shipping cost already. No, but now we don't believe that this is real. We have to sit on it for months until you pay. The it's extortion from the American government to go through customs to make sure – bootlegs don't get through. Meanwhile, you can buy Poo Boo and Gvise and any store for like half the price of Levi's and FUBU, but whatever, he got stopped. So he had to wait six months for them to release the jacket from customs for free because he couldn't get the $10,000 to for the 500 jackets. Yeah. So – Think about that and what Mattel's cost to do the exact same thing. Now, Mattel has to do this. Thing. Mattel, you know, uh, come to the Garçon, any kind of body that makes anything that gets shipped on a boat here goes through customs. That's Super 7 included. Then if a customs, they have to make that decision if they're going to pay a fee to release it sooner. Think about that. So, that all is included in that price that you're paying. Hence the reason why a major company doesn't want to do a limited run because those fees are higher. The Chinese factory says, I'm not going to run the machine for 500 pieces. 5,000 I'll run the machine. Yeah. Make 5,000 pieces. That's why if you try to get a pin made, like you want a limited edition pin, you want 100 pins, it costs just as much to get 1,000 pins. This is why. Yeah. The cost of running the machines. Just as just some perspective on what we're seeing with these toys that we're we're dying to get, and that's why I'm not super crazy about Cas Grayskull's paint scheme. I'll worry about that when I get it. Yeah. If I if I can get it right now, I'm I'm kind of way in the waters of how Walmart handles shit. Well, I mean, also if you don't get it at Walmart, I can guarantee goddamn tea this is going to be at retailers because they're not going to just do a limited to. run for walmart it just doesn't make financial sense um any more than uh you know all these figures that we're getting at walmart they're going to be available wide as well it's just walmart's got the exclusivity for a specific period of time so i mean we're going to see me ask you gray skull at all these other places too so now, let me ask you a question, though. Will the Castle Grayskull that be retail release have not have that sorceress? That I couldn't tell you. I have a feeling that it will. Just because I hope so. Produced, it's been you know, packaged. We never, we never got any indication that like, this is a Walmart exclusive. Like, right. There's no label on they it. said, okay, if you want a flocked version, that is going to be an exclusive to Walmart. If you want this Keldor and Cronus two-pack, that's an exclusive to Target. Nowhere did they say Castle Grayskull and Sorceress is a Walmart exclusive. The only thing they, they've done is if you want to pre-order it, that's through Walmart right now. I think it's just going to be across the board. That's going to be. I'm just hoping, I, I, I'm scared about when those things do occur how that's going to be handled. Because I heard Target's just as bad as Walmart. Well, they are, if not worse. I've never bought anything. I haven't bought anything to Target. I think I, I wanted the uh, the Soundwave cassette thing. That was the the new one that just recently came out. I think it was a Target or Walmart exclusive. And like it was sold out in seconds. And it was like, I'm not fighting for that. Get out of here. You're out of your mind. I'm done. Yeah. I'm like, I'm done. I, if I got to do this with one toy line, I'm not doing this with everything. Especially since 
with Transformers, the only thing I do collect is Soundwave. I'm not doing this for a line. I want to get everything across the board. I'm not going to fight for every... That's why I'm not doing the G.I. Joe Classified. I'm not fighting with these stores anymore. Yeah. I can't. I can't do it. It's just, uh, It's frustrating to fight with a store to get something. Yeah. I can understand a paint exclusive. Where, okay, like you said, the sorcerer's being white. All right, paint it. It's, a, it's an exclusive figure. You don't get it. Hey, at least you'll get the standard sorcerers. You don't have to be a completist. You can be a cherry picker slightly. But it was different with classics because with classics, you just said, hey, you know what? I'll pay for the, the, the subscription. You get me my figures. I'm cool with it. Because at that time, they're cool. Even if I didn't like the figure, I know 11 out of the 12 figures I'm going to like. I don't have to fight with nothing. I don't have to fight a blue screen of death or whatever. With this, is like I don't even get the option to have the blue screen of death. I don't get the option to hopefully almost get in my shopping cart. We're getting like, uh, hey, guys, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. So Facebook group goes, they're live on Walmart. And like, I'm not doing that, man. That's yeah. like fucking out of your mind. And it's like my cousin, she's pissed. She's gone to every Walmart across Long Island. And like apparently all the Walmarts are in Long Island, apparently. And all of New York, they're in Walmart, apparently. It's out in Long Island. And I took a, a screenshot and the guy said, hey, look, um, like Green Acres more or some crap somewhere in Long Island. And he shows a picture. It's the full, it's the full line, right? She goes, when the fuck was that i'm like it was seven hours ago i was there last night they weren't there i'm like are you sure she goes back to the store she takes a picture and all the figures were gone same picture except there was two that identified from that guy's photo yeah like how you could tell was like the toys that were around it like you know the, the ben 10 shit or whatever same spot she took the same picture goes like when do they put these out? She goes, I was here at 7 p.m. last night. They weren't here at 7 p.m. last night. How the hell did they stock them literally after she walked out of the store? Like, did she, and she asked them, are you guys going to be stocking the He-Man? They're like, no, no, we don't, we're not. And then the, the guy took the picture at the same store, <laughs> like, hours later. That That's, and I feel bad because she does not well, care. I mean, I've talked to some <laughs> Walmart employees. I'm like, you know, when this all kind of, like, started, like, hey, do you, you know, have Masters of the Universe or He-Man or whatever? Most of those employees had absolutely zero clue what I was talking about. Even when I pulled it up on my phone, like, oh, okay. I mean, we don't have that yet. Because when I saw the skew and they had, like, some frame yeah. of reference. But, like, when you're talking about a toy, they they have no clue. None. My, my cousin asked, and the guy's like, He-Man? Maybe in the collectible section, but that's an old toy line. She's like, it's a new line, and it's for your store. And she was like, I'm going to strangle you. And she had to show him. He's like, yeah, no, we're not getting that. Like, they might be, but they don't care. I, I mean, do they get, like, a morning powwow or, like, okay, here's – I mean, you know, I doubt it, so. No, it, now it's more like, do your job and hope you don't get fired. Have a nice day. Yeah. Where's the Walmart greeter? <laughs> Put a smile underneath that mask. You know, it's like, it's a, they got bigger fish to fry. I get it. Make sure you check those receipts going out. We don't want, you know, your whole show going out without being. To help everybody out that's buying online, get an app called Fetch. Fetch will take all your online receipts and give you points and you can build up as a, it's kind of like, um, similar to uh, Ibotta. Oh God. No, I just told people because it's, it just helps. It does. I've been using it as good. It just reminds me of all those pre-run YouTube videos. Um, yeah. If you like have a thousand subscribers, which we do not yet, uh, to get even uh, any pro, uh, like uh, advertising running, but like all those things, like I feel like they sedate their actors before they do any kind of like action because it's like. Do you need Wiki Buy or do you shop on Amazon? Well, the worst part, they're actually Wiki now Buy. they're using all they're using now is all the YouTube people they they sponsored to do their videos. So like you they're see Mr. Awful. Beast, they're yeah, you got Mr. Beast and awful and all these other guys. Like you got what Linus Linus Tech Tips, 
Like he's got 7 million subscribers. So they paid him and they made him make a commercial for them. So what you see is like, hey, you know me. I'm that guy you watch on YouTube and you should use this. So now on top of they getting the sponsorship and ads in their videos and links for subscriptions on their videos, they're also being paid to make commercials for the same things, yeah. which is cool. I have no hate. I mean, I wish I had that. You know, I'm closer now to 3,000 on my Alternative Minds channel, but that's fucking 10 years. Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah. We have millions and millions and millions of views, as much as most of those bigger YouTube channels, but have nowhere near the subscriber account. I do not know how this works anymore. I've given up caring. But uh, I just know that, you know, hey, those those commercials are garbage. But I yeah. get it. I get it. It's free for them. Hey, we're paying you to promote our shit. Do a commercial for us. You already film videos. And if someone sees your commercial, they might recognize you and they may not turn it off. Because if they see a commercial with someone they don't know, you're ready to hit the skip. But let's say it's a YouTube guy you like. You're like, well, what's this about? Yeah. And then you suck it in to watch that 10 second, 20 second clip. I get it. I don't hate. Fuck him. I'm done. He Man, I'm excited. He Man. He Man. Well, with that, um, I guess we will conclude this episode because we've talked about Grayskull. We've bitched about stuff, which, you know, is going to be inevitable. And uh, we'll see what the next couple of weeks. I'm hoping Scareglow and, and, and all these guys start coming out. So I will I will say this when I get Manny Faces when I get Scareglow and and these other guys I will do a a review of these guys like you should right away we'll 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 see what those are I didn't do it with the other ones just because I was so excited to get them I tore those fuckers open the minute I got them so well you know I think you should uh, for the channel for people to come <coughs> and see you know what you do what you have and have fun with it you know make fun you know have fun with it. I think that's the most important, having fun with your content. And you know, it's not just reviewing or unboxing. Have fun with it. You're a voice actor, for God's sakes. You could be creative. You mean you I could didn't do have a lot more. putting Robota's legs on? No, I could tell you didn't. <laughs> you, were, you were so uncomfortable. You're like, is this fucking on backwards, you motherfucker? <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> what in the fuck have I done to this poor figure? Oh, I've made it worse. Now, now I have to cut him. Wait a minute. This is a lot more complicated than I thought it was going to be. He's like, I've done this a hundred times. A hundred and one. Yeah. <laughs> Let it be that last time. But uh, yeah, man, it's, oh, it's, 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 it's ridiculous. But at the same time, it's like, you know what? When you do reviews, like how I do it, I just talk about what I want to talk about. And sometimes yeah. with some videos, I just unbox, take some pictures. You, you, you don't really let to see my mug a lot of times. I like the way Will's doing his. Uh, well, hey, I'm editing those videos, so I guess I should, right? But um, it's just because he's talking, and he's just talking about toys, talking about the experience, and then you just see his collection in the back. Yeah. So, you know, like, this dude, I believe him more because, like, look at – he's spent the money. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah. And, and he's spending money on toys, and he's giving his honest feel. And it's very positive. You know, he's not just being a jerk for whatever reason. And he compares it. And it's very nice. It's not going out of his way to be like. He's not just being a jerk for no reason. No, he's not superficial. <laughs> like he's super excited for this toy and everyone should love it. He's more like, hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Will. And like, it's silky smooth. And he just does it. And I just, you know, I, I that's what you want to see. When you're doing anything, I want to see someone talking about the product that doesn't, you don't feel like it's being force fed to you. Right. You know, and I, I hope to God sometimes I get reviews and I have to review it because a, it's either something that's going to benefit my daughter or my wife or myself. So I got to be a little kind, but I'm going to be truthful. So hopefully at the very least, I'm not being fake. And there's no way for me to fake anything. I'm terrible at lying about stuff that I'm supposed to like. Yeah. Like, I, I don't have a poker face when it comes to like, oh, this is the greatest product ever. Yeah. Yay. I can't do it. It's not in me. Like, if you gave me food and I really didn't like it, you would know right the fuck away. Like, I'm like, oh, thank you so much. Do I have to swallow it too? Uh, hey, you know, <laughs> I'm really bad. And 
And that's the problem. I'm not good at that. But I think it's it's good to be honest, but not be a jerk. Yeah. You know, there's a there's a balance. There's a balance. You don't have to be I've seen these reviewers that are complete dicks and they're just mean about everything and they hate everything. You're like, All right, then why'd you buy it? Because I know you didn't get sponsored. <laughs> so I know they didn't give you that toy. It's like <laughs> it's like you're shitting on a stuff. Couple of like, reviewers give me like that too. So Yeah, fuck them. But we should end this video here. I agree. Um so until next time, I'll be super positive. Joy, happy yeah, day. hey guys. Hey. So until next Buddy. time, uh, <laughs> oh, you can't. You see, you can't even fake it. That see, you, you're too real. You're too real. You can't even fake it. You tried. Okay, anyway. You tried to put on a. You can't fake it. Until next time, John. Uh, uh, you should really, that really app. install that app. Get that app. <laughs> but thank you uh, guys don't forget subscribe to this channel give us a like leave us a comment and tell us what you feel about this line are you into the Castle Grayskull are you excited let us freaking know we want to have an open dialogue with our fans here on John's channel Playtime Masters you gotta hit and don't forget the notification bell that lets you know when John's posting his next video okay. <laughs> and you're welcome See, I'm good at that. Thanks. <laughs> and I might, you know, get around to actually responding to you at some point. So I try. I'm going to now like, comment awesome. every one of your videos just to see if you respond. <laughs> We'd love to get a thousand people so I can make, you know, five dollars off of some of this shit. So you need fifteen hundred to get uh, ads. It's fifteen hundred now. It used to be a thousand. It's fifteen hundred. That came with the last Fuck changes. YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's fifteen hundred. You have to have, uh, and you have and to maintain. That's how I get too. fifteen hundred. Now it's going to be five thousand subscribers. You never know. I mean, uh, you probably. I, if that happens, I'm fucked. What? <laughs> I'm like, I'm pushing that three thousand mark. Changes the rules it's every coming. freaking five minutes. They it's do. I get. I get. I you know. I'll get a comment. Like someone comment because hey, I try to add your video to my playlist. Well, it's not sponsored playlist. It's just. You know, your video was really cool and I was wanted, but I can't. And it says this. I'm like, yeah, it's called COPPA and YouTube. And so if it's fan, it's all ages, you can't playlist it. Yeah. Not my problem. Talk to YouTube. We're not all fucking ages. That's true. I mean, that, that's a point. I don't go out of my way. I mean, some things, if I'm reporting, reviewing a product that I feel that could appeal to kids, I kind of err on the side of caution and go hey this is kid friendly uh but if i'm cursing like this <laughs> nope <laughs> it's not you know alternative minds we do everything deal with it i don't know how to help you you know it's like like our drinking uh, uh night when we're doing game night when we did on zoom that is definitely not all ages <laughs> <laughs> but i want to thank you for having me on and the next time we see one little image, we're going to do another one, and we're going to dissect the living crap out of it because that artwork is driving me crazy because all I keep thinking about is the skeleton characters, the guys on the pterodactyls, and who's ever on the sky sled because it kind of looked like it could have been Hordak. It kind of looked like it could have been somebody else. I'm like, I just don't freaking know, and I'm like, Nate, I'm going to beat you up, bro. We should have Nate on the show. Let's see if he'll come on the show, and we'll just I, ambush. Yeah. We ambush the shit out of him. Well, we he's not like, buying this we line. Should come up with some sort of psychological test that answers our questions without getting him in trouble, because he hasn't really answered the question, but we've Dude, tricked him. You know, we're gonna find out he's a replicant. Right? Well, I don't want to find out he's a replicant. I'm not gonna do a Voight comp test. This ain't Blade Runner. I am not doing that because I like Nate. I don't want him going like <laughs> time to die. And also, I'm Harrison Ford running through the streets. There's some naked girl in a plastic jacket. I mean, I mean that's happened before. But I'm telling you, that was when I was younger. I could when I could run through the streets, but not anymore. But like, I definitely Nate. If they would be like the RoboCop, Terminator, replicant, like Rutger Hauer, like you know. But on a horse, though, because that's neat. Like, you know, <laughs> I mean, I can see that. <laughs> now, that's, now, now I got to make Nate do that. Just take a picture <laughs> on a horse. Robotic parts on a horse. Sounds good. 
Oh, all right. Well, on that note, until next time, uh, this has been Playtime Masters. I promise we're stopping this time. I'm John. That's Rob. (laughs) And we'll see you again soon. Make sure you subscribe to Playtime Masters and hit that bell to be notified when we upload new videos.